again, that's, that's my idea of a good time. My sister Betsy is actually going to New York with me next week when I launch my cookbook. I'm so excited. Uh, Lad is staying home because the boys have a lot of football practice and Lad's more comfortable on the ranch than New York City. So my sister, my sister was very self-sacrificing and offered to join me. <laughs> but we are trying to figure out where to eat dinner one night while we're there. And it's going to be pretty late because it'll be after a couple of um, TV things I'm doing. And she found an Italian restaurant. And I looked at the menu and it looked so good. And I said, we can't go there because it'll be like 8.30, 9 o'clock. And we'll eat pasta and we'll be filled with regret in the morning. <laughs> and so, And she said, and the problem is, so we're going to eat at the Italian restaurant. I'll let you know how it is. Okay, more questions. By the way, it's so awkward to talk to a camera. I hope you guys are smiling and like waving and laughing along with me because <laughs> I'm not hearing any feedback. Okay, can you share a memorable kitchen disaster? Oh yes, do you have a minute? Do you, do you have some time? Go ahead and settle into the sofa. Well, one, Okay, I have several. So I've always loved to cook, and I, I cooked in high school even because I just thought it was fun, and I thought I was a good cook. <laughs> I wasn't, but I decided I was gonna make vegetable lasagna, uh, and the recipe called for a fourth a cup of chopped parsley, and of course this was 1986 and the reason I remember that is because I made it for my then boyfriend I'm not gonna name any names but we're friends on Facebook to this day and anyway I remember I was dating this boyfriend in 1986 so anyway instead of a, am I talking too much <laughs> my friends are standing over here <laughs> there I told them to give me a signal if I say anything dumb so so far they're over there going <laughs> no <laughs> Um, you'll meet them later. Uh, so anyway, the recipe called for a fourth a cup of chopped We still have that Amazon stock. But anyway, um, I decided, I, I made like a, a Thai uh, veggie pasta salad and I decided I was gonna make green tea ice cream. And at the time, green tea ice cream wasn't something that you could, you know, necessarily go buy at, at, in Tulsa. And so I, made green tea ice cream cream from scratch. I put the green tea into a spice grinder and ground it up really fine and raise your hand if you love green tea ice cream. It's, do you guys love it? It's so good. But the problem is our freezer was old and so I froze it in my ice cream maker, but it was very, it was very soft. And so I love the step-by-step -step format. That's how I've always done my blog posts and my cookbooks. Um, I had a lot of fun with this cookbook. I call it the new frontier because it kind of represents a little bit of a shift that I have experienced in my household. Two of my girls have left me, just cold, left me alone in the house. Uh, actually, they left me in a man cave. My teenage boys are still at home. One of my daughters graduated from college, the other one is in college, so I have more space in the house, I have a little more time uh, in the house by myself to get into trouble, and what better way to get in trouble than in the kitchen. So while the book, cookbook has a lot of family-friendly dishes because, hello, teenage boys, it also has a lot of things that I am really excited about eating these days. There's a mix of uh, lower carb, I'm not calling it low carb because I wouldn't make that claim, but just little steps here and there if you decide to spend a week cutting carbs, which I do once every five years, <laughs> you can uh, cook, you, you can prepare some of those lower carb dishes, but make no mistake about it, this cookbook is actually a high carb cookbook with a little handful of lower carb recipes thrown in. This is butterscotch lava cake, and it's a triumph. It is the most delicious dessert that take under 30 minutes. That is my favorite kind of recipe. Gone are the days when I can just 
leisurely stir slow cooked dishes in my kitchen. Even if the boys aren't in the house, I'm working, I'm helping lad, I'm playing with my basset hounds. <laughs> so I love 30 minute dinners or less. Uh, in fact, I have a category on my website called 16 minute meals that I've always had a lot of fun with. And so I really like the concept of just cooking a piece of meat, whether it's a chicken cutlet or a pork chop, cooking them in a little olive oil, and then taking them out of the pan and making some kind of pan sauce. And in fact, one of my faves is in here. See, I can just flip to examples left and right whenever you ask me about my favorite quick recipes. This is chicken with roasted red pepper sauce. So basically, it's delicious. And it, it's very, very quick. So basically, you marinate chicken really quick. And then you cook the chicken, take it out, and you make this beautiful sauce with onions, jarred red bell peppers. Um, you kind of cook it, add some cream, milk. So I think if it tastes like flour, you just haven't had enough, you haven't added enough milk to the mix. Um, so try that and then make sure you do have enough grease to mix in the flour. Aren't you glad I added some lower carb recipes to this cookbook? <laughs> I'm talk just talking about gravy. Okay, how do you balance your life and cooking? What is the one thing that you do for fun for yourself? I do get asked this a lot, and I do a lot of cooking in my house. Um, I, I'm busy with the different work I have going on. The boys are both in football. Lad has a lot of ranch work going on around the ranch. Again, I have dogs all over the place, so my life is busy. Everyone's life is busy. But I do cherish evenings. So this is a very rare moment for me to be in town in the evening because uh, my favorite time of day is putting on my yoga pants and part because I love you all for being here. Okay, next question. Oh, by the way, I sort of digressed. I really just love being home in the evenings. Evenings, watching TV, that's my idea of a good time. Try not to be impressed by my overly exciting life. Hey, Re, how about a Pioneer Woman line of blouses? I would buy every one. Oh, I love shirts. As you can see, I, I'm not a solid solid color shirt person. Um, I, I would love to do that. You know, it's challenging to create uh, clothing that is a great quality, but also affordable and bright patterns and beautiful colors that I love. So I'm going to, you know, keep it in the back of my mind and I'll, I'll keep kind of investigating, but I don't want to do it unless it's really going to be good. And to name drop. Hi guys, it's Ree Drummond, the Pioneer Woman. If you are here, thank you. I'm very excited. I am having a live cookbook signing right here on Facebook. So thank you for joining. This is hosted by Premier Collectibles and they specialize in live book signings. And all the books that I am going to sign here during the signing are going to be shipped out immediately. Uh, so you can go to premiercollectibles.com slash redrummond if you'd like to get one of these special copies that I'm um, putting my fingerprints all over. <laughs> and I want to mention, um, I am in rural Oklahoma, and this is my office in town, and our internet in Pahuska leaves a little to be desired. So if for some reason <laughs> we lose contact with the outside world, uh, we will post the whole signing later in its entirety, and it'll still be a lot of fun. So uh, I just won't know whether I'm talking to space or talking to you guys. But anyway, it's going to be so much fun. This is my new cookbook. It's called The New Frontier, and I could not be more excited. I'm a week away from the cookbook coming out. This is my sixth cookbook, and I know I say this about all my cookbooks and all my children, but this is my favorite. So, life is a, a funny, funny thing. I have many more kitchen disasters, but I think those are two that stick out in my mind. There is such a thing as too much parsley. 
Okay, what made you want to do a cooking show and what inspires you to do what you do? In three million years, say 20 years ago, I never, ever would have thought that I would have a cooking show myself. I Obviously, I'm a home cook. I'm not a classically trained chef. And so that wasn't something that was even remotely on my radar. Uh, I started blogging in 2006, and then I started sharing recipes on my blog. And uh, that led to a cookbook eventually, and the cookbook eventually led to my cooking show. But it just goes to show you that you can sort of have all the plans in life you want, but life has a way of kind of uh, going in different directions. And I think what inspires me to do what I do, I would say uh, the same thing that compelled me to blog and, and write a story about meeting Lad. Not a necessarily a question, but you know, people say, I want to write, I want to blog. I'm sorry, I play with my hair when I'm nervous, so please forgive me. But I always tell people, just start writing. You know, don't, don't be held up by the expectation of perfection in yourself. Because I tell you what, when I started blogging, I was blogging stories about losing my toenail when I was a junior in high school because of ballet. And that, that was what I blogged about. But I enjoyed telling those stories, and I, I threw in a little, you know, humor, and then my writing got a little better, and uh, I started posting pictures on my blog of the kids. I was a terrible photographer. I knew nothing about photography. But then I started learning more and more and took a lot of bad pictures, and, but now I'm taking pictures of food. I took all school isn't necessarily always the path to uh, cooking for a living, case in point, but, um, you know, find people who are willing to, you know, let you into their restaurant kitchens and check things out behind the scenes and kind of learn more about the food industry and that sort of thing and, and uh, you know, then just kind of see where it leads you. Are you, oh, now this this is an offensive question. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are you someday wanting a lot of grandchildren around the ranch? Well, of course, of course. I hope I, hope I have grandchildren in my future, but I hope it's in the distant future. And when grandchildren happen, it will be great, as long as it's 7.4 years from now at the earliest. Ah, okay. What dish do you recommend for a girls' night potluck? Ooh, that's fun. Green tea ice cream, maybe? Uh, <laughs> gosh, it's girls' night dinners are fun, and I, you know, I, I do live in a um, home where the husband likes certain food and you know when he's away I you know break out the fresh ginger and have some fun with flavors so there are still marriages where food stereotypes according to gender do still exist what about Daniel Haley yeah he's an Osage County boy uh, so for me girls night potluck are delicious basically they're macerated blueberries fresh you can use fresh or frozen and then you make this creamy ricotta mixture in the food processor that just turns into this otherworldly mixture. It's so good. And you spread it on crostini that's been toasted and put the blueberries on top, a little balsamic glaze, and some basil. Oh, it's so pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. Lad Drummond would never eat this. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. He will eat a lot of things in this book, though. So. Sorry, honey, I'm just telling the truth here tonight. Okay, re, what? <laughs> this is a great order of questions. It reminds me of a recipe in the book. I'm gonna flip to Lad's favorite pasta, which is in this book. See, I, I like to digress and make my stories about 10 minutes long. I'm almost there, almost there. <laughs> I gotta get to the beef. There it is. 
So this is Lad's favorite pasta, and it's called Pasta a la Lad. But look at this, this is everything he loves. Rigatoni, because long pasta frustrates him. He just wants to kind of spear it on his fork and eat it, this meat sauce is delicious. But, so I made my kind of new um, love interest, linguine with clam sauce, and it had wine and garlic and cream and clams, and uh, I loaded him up the biggest plate. It was like Mount Saint linguine on this plate. And knowing what I know now, uh, it makes me laugh because he, to this day, it wouldn't be a dish that he would dive into. I certainly would. But, <laughs> but you know what? He ate that plate of linguine with clam sauce. I mean, that's pretty amazing. I still, and then you know what I did? Oh, oh, oh. Um, an online cereal uh, love story that depicted how I met Lad and what led me to kind of follow my heart instead of my plans and uh, how I wound up married on a ranch in Oklahoma. And by the way, just a little, another little side story, that's where the nickname Pioneer Woman came from. Uh, some people ask me where I got you know, the nickname Pioneer Woman, and I always tell them it, it should have air quotes around it because it was always meant to be tongue in cheek. When I told my childhood and high school friends that I was marrying a cattle rancher and moving to the country, they clutched their stomachs and rolled over in laughter and fell on the floor because to them, I was the last person that they thought would ever be in that situation. I was like, what are you talking about? I, I can hang in the country. But anyway, so they started calling me Pioneer Woman as, as a little joke. And then when my girls were little, um, they were babies, um, we lost all water pressure to our house in the country and we had no running water. And there's, there's some down, um, but it's, uh, I'm excited about starting the writing process. Oh, the game? Oh, come on in, Haley. Okay, so we have a little rapid fire question game. Um, this is Haley, you guys. Hi. Haley is my friend, for, first and foremost. Uh, she's from a Pahuska family, and she used to babysit my kids when they were little. And when I married Lad, she was little, so we yes. went to the same church. So now she's my assistant, but Helper. she's so much more than she we hang out a lot. She facilitates everything, and I, I would, I, she had a baby. How, how old is Co? Four months. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. So she had a baby and she's back and she's wonderful. So Haley is going to ask uh, 20, well, a few, 22 questions in two minutes. Yes, we'll shoot for Okay, I'm gonna, all should I them. keep signing? Because I, yes, I want to get all these of finished. Course. Be a fear of mine. But. Who makes you laugh the most? Oh, my son Bryce, my childhood okay. friend Becky, I call her Beckus. I sent. Yeah. What is the one thing you need to have in your fridge at all times? Butter. What is your greatest accomplishment? Oh, man. I mean, it's so trite and so cliche, but just my, my kids. kids. My I kids. I, they're just, I love them. I love that. Who is the most interesting person you met recently? Um, I forget everything that happened before today. I met somebody. Oh, 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 gosh. I don't think I can say it. I can't say it because it hasn't been announced yet. But oh. let's just say there's six of them. I'll leave it at that. I feel like I should know this. Okay. What is your middle name? Well, my, my first name is Anne Marie, and I don't have a no, middle, name. middle name. That may right. be what's wrong with me. <laughs> but my, my brother Mike called me Riri when I, well, he called me Wee Wee when I was a baby. And that, Fortunately, changed to Riri, and then they, my family has called me Riri, Riri ever since, which is Ri. What is your biggest pet peeve? Oh gosh, see, I can't. I'm just thinking On about the spot. 
Yeah. Um, no, I have them. I have them. I think the your, your thing. Yes. Using your incorrectly. Yes. Same. My loved ones do it. I have to set them straight. So. We're probably past two minutes at this point. Yeah, how are we doing Should on we that two going? minutes? <laughs> Let's go rapid. Keep going. Okay. Okay. Um, what is the last book you read? I watch reality TV. <laughs> <laughs> Hamilton. Yes, I'm reading the Hamilton biography. Um, that it's 900 something pages. So I'll be. That'll be my answer for the next 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite hobby? Oh gosh, I would say cooking in our freezer right now from Charlie's Sweet Shop. Oh, I asked Bryce to stop by our ice cream shop on the way home and bring me some ice cream, and he walked in with a tub. He's like, "Here's your ice cream." <laughs> I was like, that's my boy. I was so proud of him <laughs> that night. How do you take your coffee? Uh, a little coffee with my cream is how I take it. This is 18. What is the last movie you saw in theaters? Aquaman. What is the last gift you gave? Mm, I, well, I, gave I give my children the gift of life every day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You better be thankful. <laughs> yeah. Um, what causes dear to your heart? Oh gosh, um, Special Olympics. What is number one on your bucket list? Meeting all the Real Housewives. Uh, <laughs> back, no, I'm going to give you a serious answer. Uh, bucket list, I would say, I'd say going on a trip with Lad sometime. <laughs> Just going going overseas because we never do right. that so I think going to his the motherland for him is Scotland so going to going yeah. to the UK or and last but not least where do you want to go that you've never been the UK yeah <laughs> um, and that Italian restaurant in New York that I'm going to next week I'm very excited about that look at That's this it. how are you we doing it. on time start well, I'll do one more question from um, whatever you need it to be so my gosh, that went by so fast. This was so much fun, and I almost got them all signed. I have a little pile here that I'll finish signing, and then we'll get them shipped out. But thank you all so much for joining and for letting me share uh, my cookbook and just for, for being there. Thanks for putting up with me, too. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.